Welcome back once again, Spaz Nation. This is Gizmo Spaz, and as you can see, we have before us one of our final sets in the Series 1 Mega Blocks, now called Mega Constructs Pokemon Line. That's how we're doing it. Mega Constructs Pokemon Line! I'm, I'm presenting it. I'm a presentationer. If that... No, never mind. Anyway, let me adjust my light there a little. There, ooh, that's much nicer. I apologize if my lighting was off for all of the other videos that I did recently. Anyway, back to our review. Today we have the Charizard set. Came with 198 pieces. Uh, yeah. And here it is. There is Charizard. Now, it doesn't look that impressive. To be, to be honest, I'm not all that impressed with it. It just, the base, it does come with the cool little clear pole to display him when he's flying, which is neat. It does come with a great ball. As you can see here, let's do a close up on the great ball here. I say, there it is. Now, I'll zoom in. Look at that. Let's see if we can get that any bigger. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. Oh yeah, there's the great ball right there. Hi, I'm a great ball. Look at me. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the base is not that impressive. Charizard himself is actually pretty cool. I'm going to take him off of his little display peg. And it seemed to have ripped a chunk out of his chest. So we are going to remove that and put the chunk back into Charizard's chest. Poor Charizard. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Charizard. And put the ball on there. First, we'll uh, review the display. The display is it's, it's made up of two pieces, uh, two of those little sections that we keep seeing. And uh, you got some rock outcroppings and, of course, the uh, little place you keep the ball and just some pedestals. Now, I added a couple of... It, for some reason, it came with a couple extras of these little um, cylindrical pieces. And I just added them on here and and here to make them a little taller, to make his display base a little taller. So, yeah, I don't know why they gave the extra cylindrical pieces, but I thought, you know, might as well use them. And now the Charizard figure is actually really cool. He's very poseable. You can make him standing. He does not have to be in flying position. His arms are very articulated. He has three fingers on each hand. His hands can swivel however you want, not that you can really tell from the articulation. Whoa. Okay. Anyway, you got him a shoulder, elbow, and like I said, wrist swivel. Uh, his neck, it's just at the base of his neck there. His head can move in any way you want it to, which is pretty cute. Um, his legs are a little less able to articulate you can flip them out like that and then they're on a little ball joint but there's kind of i mean there's there's a lot of movement there but it's kind of minimal so yeah uh also his wings his wings have th uh one two three different points of articulation so you can actually fold them up whoops oh i just pulled that part right off okay that goes back on there did I get it on right? No. Come on, put it back on. There we go. Sorry about that. I seem to be just taking him apart as we go. So you can actually fold his wings up pretty small and uh, have them so he's just standing there. He's like, I'm just standing here. I'm just a Charizard. Let's see. Let's uh, zoom in and focus there. Oh, I should have been doing the review like that. He's got uh, multiple points of articulation on his tail here. Uh, that's as high as the first section of the tail can go right there. Uh, other than that, you can make it flying straight out when he's flying or, or give it a curve to make it appear like there's some movement going on. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure. I'm not upset about the figure at all. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, the headpiece, this is primarily one big piece right here. It's all sculpted. Um, there's a few smaller pieces that make his head, but like from, let me see, there's, uh, it starts back here, 
uh, there you go, now you can see the lines. It starts back there, goes here, and then comes down and around. This little mouthpiece is its own separate piece. Those, uh, there are no uh, stickers to apply. These decals are all painted on. And, uh, well, there you have it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to give one uh, other observation. I wanted to show you, uh, I know we looked at the Charmander and Charmeleon. I'm going to show you how big uh, Charizard is compared to the Charmeleon. There's their little Charmeleon there. We'll just put him next to Charizard. And that's as close as I can zoom in. But there we go. And then uh, grab a little uh, Charmander here, and then we'll have the whole family. There we go. Aw. Pardon me. I don't know if you heard that. But I apologize. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my review of the Mega Constructs Charizard set. Overall, uh, the figure itself is awesome. I wish there was a little more to the base. Uh, it does show on the box how you can set the base up in a couple of different ways. But it's there's just not many pieces to it. It's, it's just not that great in my opinion. I am O into my IMO. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it quits for this one. Till next time, happy hunting, be kind, and goodbye. See you next time. Bye.